Welcome back to Pokemon Black and White 2 Adventure. My name is Spade, and last time we defeated Akuroma in the plasma boat. We got a Master Ball, and we, since we, uh, you know, did some plasma action last time, I think a good idea would be to kind of continue it in a way, and oh, goodness, everything is dead. But as some people pointed out, one of the places that we can go to is... Inn's castle or the remains of it, and that's in the Pokemon League. I did kind of look into this, so I do know where I'm going actually. Yay! But yeah, I read some comments, and uh, people were talking about uh, Inn's castle, and that that is definitely uh, something really interesting. But uh, let's heal our folks since everybody's dead. I mean, knocked out. But yeah, there there was a Zoro arc. Here at the Victory Road, which I completely missed because it was like at one corner, like at one time frame of the video, and I was like battling some random trainers, so I, I completely missed it. You know, I miss everything, but it's a good thing that I have you guys, you guys can point things out. Some people point things out by being a dick, some people point things out by being nice guys. I prefer, prefer the latter. And uh, let's go this way, and I should probably use a repel. I think that would be a good idea. There we go. Repel time! I think the solo arc is... Yeah, there we go! It was like one random corner where the solo arc was. And I didn't see it, but I don't think we could have done anything, because I think you need to, uh... This is only... Uh, this is part of the after game, so, uh... Mystery item? No. Could have been... Mystery item here? No. Anyways, we'll be following the Zoroark, and I think we should go... Well, we can't go this way, so only way is down! Or this way. Huh. Do you want a battle? He wants a battle. Okay! Alright. I kinda wanna see if this guy is stronger, because he's possibly one of the after-game guys. He's not one of the before Elite Four and stuff. We'll see. Fracture! Which is level 54. To be honest, not completely sure on this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, let's just go for Psychic. Fracture doesn't have the best weapon defense. And... Uh, it's a good KO. I'm happy. I'm happy. But this Dragon Dance, that is bad. Kinda wish I had the Psych up right now, but then again... Rick is not a physical attacker. Oh dear, this Dragon Claw is going to hurt. This Fracture has pretty darn high attack. Yeah, it does about half. I knew it. But the level difference kind of makes up for it, so there we go. But now let's quickly finish off the remaining of the random pokes here. Zwylos. Einzweinsrein. Einzweinsrein. Yeah, that, that, that's how you pronounce it, I, I guess. My Germany is a bit rusty, I'm, I'm sorry. But that's where the name of these three guys comes from. Basically, I did ramble about this already a long time ago. But yeah, Zwylos, which has like... One of the most powerful outrages in the entire game. Well, now there's Black Kirim, which has like 170 base attack. Which is absolutely absurd, basically. And he has a Flygon, alright! Let's see whose Flygon is better! I got Tony here! So, yeah, I'm higher level. <laughs> Which level? 54, alright. Ten, 10 level difference. No problem. Yeah, that Black Kirim has absolutely absurd attack stand. But uh, that's Zwylos with Hustle. Like, that's higher than uh, the attack of Haxorus, but I guess Haxorus, if you're running rivalry... Oh, oops. Whoops, I... I didn't mean to go as far, but oh well. What do we got going on here? Oh, we can go... We can backtrack. Okay. That's cool. And there's probably an Excadrill. Dragon Scale? Doesn't that evolve Kingdra? Oh. Well, that was quick. Oh well, whatever, I don't care. Let's just keep moving on and I'm gonna stop rambling. And there's Zoroark. Hello! Hello there, I'll be following you. There we go, into another cave! Hello there, Zoroark. Are we going to battle? At any point? Most likely not. 
Alright, he's going down there. And we are going to follow. There's nothing here anyways. Do do do. Wow, a random excadrill on the stairs. Hey! Look at that. It's in. And we got the... It's probably some sort of remix of the castle music from Pokemon Black and White 1. Alright, the castle is here. The remains of it. Last time in Pokemon Black and White 1, the castle rose. But now it has fallen. And are we going to battle? Yeah? Oh! Oh! Oh. Well, where in the world are we going? Okay, well that's... That's pretty cool, I must say. I'm probably gonna take off the, uh... Oh, protein. The freaking... What should we call it? The, 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 the... The max repel off next time, because I kind of want to see if there's like wild Pokemon here. Ooh, there's the playground music. The really creepy music. The place is still here. There's basketball field, little train rails. But okay. That was it. He was following us just to get... Okay. Well, maybe he doesn't want to go here because, you know, bad memories and traumas and stuff. Okay. Can I go up this gate ramp? Oh, I can. Sweet! I wish I had a skateboard. Anywho, I don't know if he's gonna be following us anymore. It wouldn't really make much sense. Yeah, but he just has traumas of that place. Well then... Oh, yeah, of course we can go up this. Yep. Alright, but he just doesn't want to go there because bad memories. I presume... Somebody correct if I'm most likely wrong. It might be just uh, some other random reason, but it would make sense. But we got overheat, which is pretty cool. That also has a new animation in black and white too. Which is actually pretty cool. And now, let's see if there's going to be some wild Pokemon here. We can go up here, but then... Let's not go... Let's not go here yet. We'll go upstairs last. Let's check out one floor at a time, if we can, that is. Uh, I thought we could go to that room, but apparently not, so okay, forget it, we'll be going back. Up we go, up we go, we then. That's pretty cool, I must say. Uh, more memories. Uh, okay, he doesn't want us, alright, okay, just checking. What a shame. What a shame. And this is the place where the ending of Pokemon Black and White. The first games took place. Yup. Uh, and there's N. And I guess he has cheered up since he has his own team music going on in the background now. Are we going to battle? For the sake of old good old times? That could be pretty cool. And there's Zegron. <laughs> okay. Would be kind of cool if a Pokemon could follow you in this game. Imagine that huge ass Zegron behind you. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, yeah, sure. Batson? Now? Yup! There we go. It's time to battle in. Alright, alright. The fight against N. And he only has Zegron. I bet that's pretty high leveled. I'm scared now. Level 70. Yeah, and I got Rick here. Well, that's definitely not going to be cutting it. Um, I'm gonna use Flash if I get it off. <laughs> Most likely not, because it's freaking Zegron, which has still like 150 base attack. I do believe, but what can I do right in this situation? I wonder if Miklachu could take a Dragon Claw, then I could slow this bad boy down. That would be really useful. 
There we go, let's go for the Thunder Wave. Imprison, hopefully... What does that even do? Seal the opponent moves. Alright. Yeah, so... Yeah, that... I, I think that it... That probably also looks a bit different. At least I think so. But if you got some same moves as your opponent, then you can't use those moves. So it's a really situational attack. But anyways, let's go for Power Gem. I can do at least some neutral damage. Let's see how much the Dragon Claw does. And it does... LOL69. Why would you do that, Saifro? Let's go for the Signal Beam. Maybe get the Confusion Hacks. But no, well, they still did like the amount, around the same amount. I think both are 70 base power. But, now I could send out Tony, and I'm not really sure if this guy's going to be using a full restore, so what I'm going to do is just go for the Bulldoze. Has a bit less base power, but I think Tony still has the uh, soft sand anyway, so it gives a little boost. But I can lower down his speed. Which is what I kind of want, except I take him out with a critical hit. Wasn't really sure if I could. Don't know if that mattered, but uh, there we go. Took down the Zegrom. And defeated in. There we go. Here we go. Can I have this Zegrom right now? Um, There's like happy end music here. Yay! Come with me. No! Oh, come on! You said the same thing last time when I was asking something of you. You jerk. He's not giving me anything. Oh, He's never going to give me that. Oh! Now it's in the ball. Spade! Take the ball! Whoa! Darkstone! Alright. And that's a key item. But what happens now? Hello? Anything left to do? I guess not. But, I uh, also, uh, I do remember some comments that I was reading earlier. And uh, I guess the next place that we could go to is the Dragon Spiral Tower. Uh, I guess Kirim will be there. Not fully 100% certain on that. But we w people were just talking about... You know, Anne and Zegrom and the castle and then Dragon Spiral Tower, so I think that could be the next place that we could go to. Let's actually quickly check out check out the stone that we got, the Dark Stone or whatever it was called. It's here. Yeah, Dark Stone. Zegrom's body was destroyed and changed into this stone. It is said to be waiting for the emerge of a hero. So, okay. We got the Dark Stone with us, which means that we can go and uh, fuse it with Kyurem wherever he is. Most likely he will be... Kyurem will be waiting us in the... Uh, in that place, the, the Dragon Spiral Tower. So that is going to be the next place that we'll be checking out. <laughs> 